question so many had was why did it take the mayor so long to address the public? These protests turned violent around 3 p.m., but we didn't hear from the mayor until about five hours later. And when she finally did address the public, she seemed agitated, both at the people who were destroying her city and members of the media. What we see tonight that is going on in our city is very disturbing. Surrounded by other city officials, Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake condemned the violent protest erupting in the streets of Baltimore. Too many people have spent generations building up this city for it to be destroyed by thugs. And defended her decision to not speak to the public earlier in the evening. The police department throughout the day has been putting out information. I've been working. Uh, to make sure that we're managing this. There's a lot of moving parts, and I wanted to make sure that I was dedicated to that uh, before we came out and spoke. Shortly into the press conference, the criticism turned towards the media, first with City Council President Jack Young. I'm heartbroken and I'm disturbed about how the news media are focusing on the negativity of this city. And then Rawlings Blake. That members of your industry decided to mischaracterize my words and try to use it as a way to say that we're inciting violence. The mayor was criticized before tonight's protest began because of a statement she made that seemed to imply there was a policy giving protesters space to damage property. She says the comment was mischaracterized. I did not say that we were accepting of it. I did not say that we were passive to it. I was just explaining how property damage can happen during a, a peaceful protest.